This is Necromancer's Bottle from Clockspring 3D, printed in vase mode on the Artemis in Polymaker's Polyterra Filament. I absolutely love it, and yet, I wanna make it cooler. And I think one way to do that is using this. There you are, welcome back. This is amazing. I absolutely love vase mode prints and clock spring. I love his models because of the way the, the facets and the geometry on the outside sort of reinforce the, the structural integrity of it. It's not gonna hold water. I mean, it's, it's full of gaps and holes and whatnot, but I don't care. I adore this. Some rocks, some flowers, it is good to go. But like I said, I have a Palette 3 Pro and this could make it a lot more interesting. Here's the plan. What I wanna do is print this exact model, same G-code and everything on the CME CNC Artemis with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, which is on there right now and it made this. But what I wanna do is hook up a Palette 3 Pro. In order to do that though, we need to find more filaments because this one from Polymaker, it's their Polyterra PLA, and it's called Fossil Gray. I mean, look at that color. That's glorious. That is a good color. I like it. I like the matte finish on it. Prints really well. This is one filament. We need eight for the Palette 3 Pro. And in order to do that, we need to find some filament friends. And what better way to do that than to channel our inner Pret-a-Porter. It's all about looking good. Coming down the runway right now is Polymaker's Polyterra. Ooh, charcoal black. That is a great color. Next up down the runway, Savannah yellow. Ooh, I love it. Who do we got next down here? Lava red, lava red. Look at that. Look at this. This is special. This is Tom Sandlatter's Infinity Blue from Doss Filament to Infinity and Blue On. <laughs> 3D Pink Mafia is next from Repcord. I love this filament. Who do we have next on this runway? Ah, it's a little bit of Repcord's army green. One more, one more. Who do we have down here? Oh, the cream of the crop. Atomic's Dark Cherry Red PLA. I love it. Thank you for attending this filament fashion show. I'll see you next time. And just like that, we've got our eight filaments. Eight PLA filaments are gonna be shoved into the Mosaic Palette 3 Pro. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we get magic. Looks neat, but it looks like it didn't finish. So come over here, have the palette to, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, M, goodness. Did you see that? Filament all over the floor. All over the floor. So much waste, but maybe not. With the Palette 3 Pro, there are two modes that you can make filament. One is with a printer, which means that the palette produces filament as the printer asks for it. If a, if a printer is printing along and pulling filament, switches inside here, tell the Palette 3 Pro to make more filament. There's another mode, <laughs> make filament without a printer, where if you hit go, it just full sends like forever. It just makes filament and that that is what happened. That is what I saw on the printer. And that is what resulted in spoils all over the floor. Have no fear. Ah ha ha. What I did as I took a Saturday morning, I coffeeed myself up and I got an empty spool and I wound all of the filament that was on the floor onto this spool and it was all contiguous. It was one single strand of Palette 3 Pro produced spliced filament. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was all there, it's all there and I wound it up and now I have this incredibly unique spool of filament. What should I do with it? Wait a minute, I have an idea and I'll tell you at the end of the video. The failure did produce this. It does look good. Wow. I mean, it's like a candy dish or something that you can hold your salty nuts in. I think something like this can still be practical even though it's a failure. And so 
I guess it's only half a failure if I actually fill it with candy. Hold on. With the knowledge of what happened here, I think that I have some changes to make before we attempt this again. So we're still gonna use the Palette 3 Pro and I am going to change the amount of filament per splice just because I want taller color bands. Just in case, what I'm gonna do is secure the Bowden tube from the Palette 3 Pro to the Artemis just to make sure things work. And I'm gonna do it in the best way possible. What I did was apply tape. <laughs> just keep your fingers crossed, please. So close, so close. This is what we ended up with. And again, it's another candy dish failure. But at the same time, I like the look of the taller color bands. I think those came out great. I really, really like that look. However, we had a failure in a splice. Wah, wah. I'm really sad about that. We had a failure in the splice. I think it was a, a kink somewhere or I'm just hoping it's a kink somewhere because what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it again. Wish me luck. <laughs> Do 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 Great Scott! This is Clock Springs Necromancer's bottle printed quite large through a 0.6 millimeter nozzle on the CME CNC Artemis using these eight filaments through the Palette 3 Pro. And I gotta tell you, I like it. I like it a lot. Truth be told, I think I could have chosen a better color palette. I mean, they do work together pretty well, but at the same time, you get inspiration when certain things happen, right? And take a look at the 3D Pink Mafia filaments. It's the purple, it's semi-translucent. Now what I wanna do is use eight different semi-translucent filaments and print it to get some sort of cool vase that the light would then refract through. What I also wanna try, I would love to print like this, where supports are built up and then the layers go this way. And then you've got yourself a really cool model with almost diagonal colors. Oh, that would be cool as well. Just do it. I'm really glad I got to show you this because sometimes it's just fun to look at your machine and find a model and hit print in a creative way. And I'm really happy I was able to do this. But also there's something we need to talk about, isn't there? Yeah, I got that. This is that special filament that the Palette 3 Pro made. This is the stuff I self-wound while heavily caffeinated one Saturday morning. And this is the stuff I'm gonna give away. What? There's a link in the description that allows you to enter to win this. It's 1.75 millimeter filament. And as far as I know, outside of me, you would be the very first in the world to print with a mosaic Palette 3 Pro created spool. Blows my mind. So to enter, there'll be a link in the description. Click on it, various ways to enter. I'll ship this worldwide, baby. Listen, this is cool. And I think it's important to remember that even if a failure occurs, you can still learn from it. And it just so happens in this case, make something else awesome that is gonna brighten someone's day. If you've made it this far, you are awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, and as always, high five.